were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. That's it, Roach. your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. He was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have eyed me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. T'were old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case.
A corpse explains the stench. His throat, he was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off, made ink out of it. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nof Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny, for the road. Fry up a nice white fish for Sonny. Come on, Roach. black, saturated with blood. A camp. are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably.
Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Horse, dog, human. A few months worth. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. All I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Take it easy. Chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Banged dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. 
Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck.